Hi, now I'm going to explain average function. Before that, I want to tell you that all group functions ignore null values in the column. Make a note of this. All group functions ignore null values in the column except count start. Remaining all functions ignore null values in the column. So in this slide, if you see this, the average is calculated based on the rows in the table where a valid value is stored in the commission per underscore percentage column. The average is calculated as a total commission paid to all employees divided by the number of employees receiving commission for commission. So how many records we are getting? this ignores this average function ignores null values so we won't get correct actual this is not a correct average so how do we get so we have to use now nvf function to force the group function to include null values so this nvf function forces the group functions to include null values so when you use nvf function along with average then average is calculated based on all rows in the table regardless of whether nulls values are stored in the commission percentage column. The average is calculated as total commission paid to all employees divided by the total number of employees in the company. So let me show you the, what is the difference you are getting. Say that AVG Commission underscore percentage from employees. So if you use this one, this is giving 0 to 2. But whereas in how many employees we have now? 107 employees. And without using NVR, we are getting 0 to 2. So when we use NVL, mm, let me when we use NVL. So we are getting 0 0.0272 272. So which is the correct actual average This is the correct actual average So our next topic is Group A class and having class This is very very important